Hi Cancer, welcome to your week ahead tarot scope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, these readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant signs. So whether you're a sun, moon or rising sign Cancer, this is for you. Remember, there's no astrology in these, so check them out for all three so that you know which part of you I resonate with most as a reader. Before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So I am going to give these a quick shuffle. <laughs> I had a complete brain fart then. I was like, uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Um, for your key to the week. Uh, and remember, if you haven't uh, joined up yet, there is a link in the description box below for your... Um, for the Radiant Nation Facebook group. So you can come in there and can have a good old chin wag and a chat about all kinds of weird and wonderful things. Uh, now, so your key to the week this week is the Emperor. Uh, in a lot of ways, you're being asked to command your space, to command your life. This may be that you have to kind of, you know, Cancer's a water sign, it's a cardinal sign, and it has uh, a lot of power to it, right? Way more than people give it credit for, actually. Um, the thing is, though, Cancer doesn't like to wield its power, whereas this week it looks like you're going to have to. There might be some situations that arise this week where you really do have to put your foot down, where you do have to kind of... Uh, is where you have to kind of meet out some sort of justice. What I mean by this is not you're going to go on a rampage and start beating people up or whatever, but you will have to hold the boundary. You will have to be that sort of line in the sand this week and say, listen, I'm in charge here or I'm taking charge and this is how we are going to proceed. Um, so I've already shuffled those. Put them down, Raph. <laughs> right, for your first card out, you've got the Eight of Wands and this falls in the position of... Um, your actions and options. So first things first, I actually like this because rather than just going straight in with a jackhammer, it looks like a lot of you are gathering information and intel this week before you move any further forward. I actually really like that um, because it looks to me like that, it's like before you kind of go in with the all guns blazing, you're gonna learn first. It's like, let me get some more information just to make sure. I kind of feel like a lot of you are confirming something this week, uh, and maybe those are the steps that you're taking. Interestingly enough, the Emperor is a card of teachers, and the Eight of Wands can represent teachers and or mentors, which means some of you are gearing up to teach, and others are maybe gearing up to find a teacher, a coach, or a guru of some sort. When it comes to your options and the options that are available to you, this week, I actually feel like there's going to be a lot of people reaching out to you via the airways, right? So you're sliding into your DMs, maybe leaving you a comment to say, look, can we connect? Can we catch up? All the rest of it. Uh, so be open to it because there's some good possibilities there. Then you've got the Daughter of Cups. So this is the Page of Cups in the position of what needs to... Uh, blah, 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 blah. No, <laughs> this isn't a personal read, Raph. Sorry, as you can tell, I've been immersed in readings. I'm a little bit lost in the source at the minute and still battling, feeling not quite too great at the moment. Um, your Page of Cups falls in the position of your communications and conversations. So this for you really in my humble opinion, <laughs> shows up for you in stellar fashion because it means you're communicating from the heart and whatever you are saying this week, although you're putting your foot down with something, you are doing it from in and uh, from from and in a space of love. All right, that's great. What it also tells me is there's some subject this week that you know needs to be approached seriously but you also know that you need to be careful because of whoever is involved. So, and this with the Eight of Wands, I kind of feel like there might be some kind of information that you come across this week where you're like, okay, I thought this was one thing and now I realise it's actually a much more sensitive issue. I need to be mindful about how I, how I kind of step forward with this. When it comes to uh, those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, this could be that you start to really love what you're doing or what you're learning and you can already see the very real world practical application steps for it, which is great. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, 
this could be a thrust into a position of leadership in some regard, not necessarily because of the Page of Cups, more because of the Emperor. So you could be maybe playing boss or not playing boss, but you know what I mean, like you're maybe given more responsibility and authority and you're like, this feels good, this feels right to me. It may also be that you get a chance to demonstrate your level of knowledge or skill within a specific area. For those of you that are, um, Oh, come on brain. For those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, or people that work for themselves, there's solid energy here. I actually think for a lot of you though, this might be drawing some clear lines with clients or uh, maybe even students if you have them. This might be where you're having to get really sort of clear on some of the professional boundaries. Uh, even though you're emotionally invested in everything that you do and everyone that you come into contact with, you might have to sort of make a very clear delineation this week, which I don't think would be a bad thing. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, this for you guys will probably show up around an issue within the family around a young person's schooling. So let's say you've got children and their children aren't doing great at school and you kind of, you hear them talking about this, that and the other and you're like, you know what, there's something fundamental that you guys are missing here. What I mean by this is your personal wisdom and way that you would approach something it's not to say that you override your children, but you have more wisdom with this. It's like wherever you see this this week, this is kind of an area of expertise for you because you've done it. And so this week I would kind of, you know, if you can see a situation brewing, don't be afraid to intervene. You know, the emperor, you might need to, to kind of pull rank this week and seniority tends to get it. So <laughs> you've got the four of wands in your love and relations. So what do we see here? The emperor is number four, you've got the four of wands, two fours represents uh, insomnia. So your relationship could potentially be causing, you know, some kind of insomnia, but I don't think, <laughs> oh gosh, uh, my cheeks are going red again. They do that from time to time. I don't think that you're not getting any sleep because you're worried about the relationship. I think you're not getting any sleep because you and your partner are um, enjoying each other's company more than usual. <laughs> um, which, hey, listen, don't knock it, right? Because there'd be people out here that have been single eternally for a very, very long time. Uh, for <laughs> for uh, those of you that are partnered or married, that could be the thing. But look at this, right? You've got this with the Eight of Wands. That's you really starting to learn your partner's buttons and triggers. Even if you've been together for a very long time, you're discovering new things about each other every day. Um, and you've got this with the Page of Cups, which suggests, you know, if you've got children... This might be, look, the baby is finally sleeping and we can get some adult nap time in. Uh, this could be, you know what I mean? Like there's so many ways you could see it, but that's kind of how I see this happening. It's like the connection deepens, the bond deepens, and there's also a possibility that your partner's resources uh, start to improve. For those of you that are single and looking to mingle, I love this. This tells me there are several options. But there's been an option that you guys have had your eye on for a while and it looks like you've been wondering whether this person has a crush on you too. Likely to be someone older, potentially someone in a position of authority. Maybe this is why you haven't approached them because they've been, uh, you know, otherwise engaged or whatever. Uh, but I like this. I like this a lot. It's like maybe you knew before they did, which is very possible with the intuitive energy of uh, cancer, that you were going to be an item and they could show their interest this week. They finally show their hand. So this could be really nice. So then you've got the strength card in your money and materials. So the strength card is number eight. You've got the eight of wands. Two eights represents new knowledge, new wisdom, new information. Because you've got the emperor here, this is some piece of information that you're privy to that financially could literally get you ahead very quickly. It's going to require some real guts for you to move on though and quite potentially to step into either an arena or a position that you don't know if you can fill. Those are the best kinds because they challenge you, they change you, and they grow you. For those of you, uh, when it comes to your physical health and vitality, this is the body. And because you've got the um, emperor here, this is particularly the head, the face, 
uh, I would also as well, if there are moments this week where you feel like you're getting a headache and stuff, take time to really let it pass rather than just taking some tablets and working through it. This is not a week to push your body further than it can go. Uh, and then when it comes to your home and environment, the home and environment for the strength card means that you're, for me anyway, it means that you're balancing something out on the material level. For some of you, this could be something like you're trying to feng shui the home. For others, this could literally be that you are rearranging things to optimize your space. And I feel like this is a serious thing for a lot of you. It's like, you know, because cancer likes a comfortable home, right? But this feels to me like you're like, no, it's too cluttered. The energy is not good. I feel off center. I feel off kilter. You know what? Let me just fix this and you will go about fixing it, all right? With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care, and I'll see you soon.